Combating non-wetting soils through the use of spading and mouldboard ploughing can dramatically improve on-farm productivity, but little is known about the impact of the practices in terms of soil structure and crop nutrient needs. The mouldboard ploughing suggestion came to me from um, a consultant um, as a result of work that he'd seen done by Steve Davies from the Department of Agriculture and it was quite a quite a shock to the system really because I mean a mouldboard plough is a very ancient uh, implement than you know before my time I, I've heard of them but I had never used them before and to think that they'd have an application in today's farming was was a little bit hard to uh, comprehend. Together with the West Midlands Grower Group, the GRDC and the Department of Agriculture and Food WA are funding a four-year research trial near Bajangara in WA's northern agricultural region. It's assessing the impact on nutrient availability, plant establishment, growth and yields after mouldboard ploughing to 35 centimetres, spading to 30 centimetres and banding soil wetters in the base of the furrow. The goal of the project is to deliver more accurate guidelines for managing crop nutrition where these practices are used. That will be interesting to see uh, what the results of that are and, it, and it, it appears from the results I've seen so far that the P and particularly N uptake is much better on these mould boarded trial sites. Um, as to why that is, that'll, that'll be very interesting to know, but it's verifying what we're observing uh, visually and, and in yield, that we're just getting a lot healthier crop. Well, um, on some of our worst country, um, in, in not very favourable seasons, we've had results as bad as half a tonne to the hectare and that's, you know, that's just unsustainable. Um, you cannot continue to farm with those sort of yields. Um, after mild boarding, um, that's been raised up um, close to two tonne to the hectare the last two years. We've had two tonne to the hectare off some of those paddocks um, and that's a huge improvement. Mold board ploughing and spading to invert the soil can change the distribution of phosphorus, potassium, organic carbon, sulphur and even the pH in the top 40 centimetres. To optimise crop yields in these circumstances, researchers are recommending deep soil testing beforehand, followed by surface soil testing afterwards, to get a better idea of subsequent nutrient needs. Just one of the factors farmers need to understand when dealing with the changed soil conditions. That does create some problems. Mold boarding exposes your soil to wind erosion. Um, the other problem we've had is um, because it, it's so soft after mould boarding, uh, seed placement's very difficult. But we have had some uh, very encouraging results.